can it rain all the time? It feels like that in New England right now, it has rained constantly. But you might notice the uh, famous clip from the Crow movie. And this is a Crow action figure from Diamond Select Toys. Uh, always had sort of a mixed results with Diamond Select. Um, maybe this is, who knows how this is gonna be. We'll open it up and find out. The package is always is a little flimsy. I, I, I'm not in love with their design for these things. But, uh, you know, pretty straightforward back. I do love that they give the designer and sculptor the proper credit on their packaging. This comes from fun.com. We are going to open it up and take a look at Eric Draven. So you may or may not know that I am a huge Crow fan from back in the day. I was a fan of the original Caliber comics uh, before they made a movie. Uh, of it, and I uh, had lots, you know, by James O'Barr, did all that, I had all the original comics, and I've actually met James O'Barr a couple times, and went to a premiere of the Crow movie back in the day, and learned about the death of Brandon Lee, the kind of like when it happened, you know, uh, so I've, I've really been aware of the crow and its various attempts to be remade and whatever but this movie is kind of the i think it should be left alone i don't think we should keep remaking the crow but people seem insistent on it in the same way that diamond select continues to make many different variations of the crow action figure this one is sort of the crow with his guitar that he emos out and plays while uh you know living in the abandoned house where he was killed with his girlfriend. Well, I don't know if it's the same house, but it's like a gothic he plays. Here is Eric's tombstone, and it comes with a little crow, which plugs in on top, which is very nice. It has some little etching in the bottom. Just whisper my name in your heart, and I will be there. So it's, it's a nice little, I like this. I like the little tombstone. It's a nice little display feature. You also have this other bird here, which is the wingspan is great, but I'll explain that in a little bit more. And then we can just go on to the figure, which is, I'm happy to say, rather nice. Diamond Select kind of has a, an iffy track record on action figures, I guess, in my opinion, that they either the likeness is off or the articulation is off, but there's not a lot to complain about with this figure. It's a seven inch scale action figure. Comes with this uh, lovely guitar, obviously not plugged into anything. The strings aren't strings, they're just molded on. I'm gonna take this off so we can review the figure itself without the guitar. In some ways, Diamond Select is still sort of trapped in the past with their action figure technology in a way. Um, but I think it's because their market doesn't demand that they change. You know, they're putting things into stores that for people to buy because they like the character they're not necessarily buying people because they're great action figures like you would like a figure arts or something like that they they've kind of been using the same joint styles and uh methodology for a long time and people seem to buy it and it works and i guess they're just not interested in changing much so let's look at this figure from the top down i should also note that this figure arrives courtesy of fun.com so you want one of these bad boys go to fun.com so check this out he's got your usual kind of ball jointed neck but obviously it's just a single neck joint neck seems a little long but it's fine underneath here you have uh, his core body you can see that there is an ab crunch and swivel i believe this body is used from a previous release of the figure these arms are are not from that figure this coat i believe is what was made for this version of the figure Arms are, you know, pretty standard ball socket type things. They're a little firm and they're like, you I can have it this way or you can have it that way. But you could go in between. It's fine. They'll rotate. And you, same thing here. Pretty simple. But you notice we're still doing kind of the little pin joint things here, which I think is a hole that we're trying to get away from in the hobby. But... You know, the hands have, you know, nice articulation. They're nicely painted. There's no, no, no problems there. The paint overall in this figure is really nice. And again, we said we had a little, uh, we actually have two rotations. So you get the, at the chest crunch, you can rotate, but you can also rotate at the hip there. 
And here's what I mean about action figure updating. Like these joints are kind of not acceptable anymore. You know, these T joints where you just sort of cut out a joint out of a, what they clearly did is someone sculpted a solid statue and they come in and cut it up. It's what all these people used to do. Now they design more from like the toy and articulation level up, but these are sort of stuck in the McFarlane kind of let's make a statue and cut it up thing. But it works. Again, are you going to do crazy action poses with the crow? You're probably not. You're just going to display them in a nice way. But, you know, you do have that articulation. You got thigh swivel, knees, and they can rotate. And then you have some nicely sculpted boots that are kind of separated there. So similar, you know, pretty normal articulation, little holes for stands. So overall, it's a, a good looking figure. Trench coats, like a, a heavy rubber. And it looks good. So of course, like we said, we can take the classic guitar. It's got some nice detail. It's got the, you know, the little neck plate. So somebody who really studied the, what, you know, uh, the, the, the screws on the, um, fret plate here are a little heavy handed, but otherwise it looks really nice and you can put it on pretty easily Not here. And what I, what I do is I just kind of tuck it under the hair a little bit, just cause it will keep it in place. And then this hand can, of course, hold on to his guitar. Uh, it looks great, to be honest. It looks really great. And again, you're probably not going to pose this in a lot of different wild poses. It's kind of what you're going to get. There's also an accessory I'll, I'll show you with this hand. So this is the, the hand for when he was shot and it went through his hand. He held it up to his face. So I'll show you that. This comes out. Pull that out. Push this in. There we go. And he can do the. Uh, there we go. Hold through the hand. Kind of pull. You can get that. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It's a cool feature. I don't know if anyone's going to display that, but it's a cool feature. This crow is amazing in sculpt and detail. I really like it. A uh, little hole in the back. And I guess it's that this was for a f previous figure that had a little stand that you could mount to the back to so make like the crows flying around them. But if you have a Tamashi stand, everybody should have Tamashi stands so you can pose your Eric Draven and then just sort of pose the, the crow however you want around him. Uh, on the shoulder, you know, whatever you want. So overall, I think it's a plenty great figure and uh, I'm happy to add it to my collection you should add it to yours. You can get yours at fun.com and tell them I sent you. This has been Josh from Collection DX. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.